Well, hello, ladies and gents. This is Javakus with a quick tutorial on how to use the Dev Mode camera system in Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. This is actually um, a useful tool for many sorts of um, videos that you might want to make, like Mechanema or whatever, like uh, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up. First, you'll need to uh, make a shortcut of your executable uh, directly from um, your Vampire the Masquerade Redemption folder. So you have to go from the executable. I'm using the AOR executable and I created a shortcut here. Under its properties, I made sure it, I enabled console and I'm enabling AOR for this. And you want to put in dev mode for that. So, um, slash D-E-V-M-O-D-E. -E. So, um, once you do that, you run the shortcut here, and I will show you in-game how to use the controls. All right, then. All right, so now that we're in-game, um, and we have dev mode enabled, we should be able to press control P and get a little example of what that mode does. Once you press control P, um, you'll then notice that your cursor no longer um, moves the camera. Um, with the WASD keys, with W, um, A, S, D, you can actually move the camera forward. Straff it sideways, left and right, with A, D. Press S to make it go back. W to make it go forward. And you'll have to use the... Um, directional keys your your arrow keys on your keyboard to actually make it look uh, to turn left right and look up down now um, I'm pressing up on my uh, on my uh, arrow I'm pressing the up arrow on my keyboard and it's actually making the camera look down so it's kind of flying like an airplane so you can fly it around, kind of like an airplane. Um, you can't press F11 while you're still in uh, the camera mode. So the best thing to do, actually, is uh, I'm going to press Control P again. And that takes me back to normal game mode. And I'm going to press F11. And I'm going to press Control P again. All right, so I'm going to actually start flying around Again, using the arrow keys to fly the camera around like an airplane. And notice I still have the cursor here. I can actually, um, I can actually click and control the movements of the character. And still move the camera around. So I can like set up some some sort of scene like um, like have him come around the corner too. I can just like have the camera be right over here and just kind of click and have him come around. And then you can just kind of move the camera around freely. So the camera is kind of acting like a different player now. So you're you're just. Uh, you're moving the camera separately from moving your own character, from the currently controlled character. And you can do this with um, a spawned uh, NPC. So I will show this off real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly spawn a non-hostile NPC, hopefully um, one of the ST ones. Let's see here. I will spawn Casty. I will select Cassie, I'll get out of ST mode, press F11, press Control P, and move the camera around again to my desire, and I can move her. Now apparently I can't interact with any objects in this mode, but I could certainly full flexibility over the camera and move them separately. 
So like I said, you can use this tool if you're doing some sort of McKenema sort of uh, um, videos, and it and it uh, it can really add a lot more cinema to the effects of any videos you make, any sort of movies you want to make with with the uh, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption game. So yeah, that's how that works. So again, Control P will toggle the camera mode in and out, making sure that you have dead mode enabled in your uh, shortcut, and you should be able to use this. Um, that should conclude this quick tutorial on how to get this system working, and I hope you enjoyed it. Over and out.